How's it going everyone? In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the Steam Deck as the emails are going out for those of you that had your pre-orders in for Wave 1. I want to talk about the absurd prices that the thing is going for over on eBay. Please don't be paying this. I uh, also want to highlight some of the reviews and whatnot, so we'll talk about that. And also... They're dropping Aperture Desk Job. We'll talk about that. Seems to be a little bit in the news today uh, based on me looking at social media. But before we get into the video, one quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by VIPSCDKey.com where you can get Windows 10 Pro OEM very cheap. They already have it discounted heavily, but you can also use the promo code COM, that's COM, for an additional 25% off discount, and you'll end up getting it for just $16, and you'll also be able to get an upgrade to Windows 11. And all you'll have to do is insert your Windows key, you can activate it, and then you'll have a fully functional Windows operating machine and it's great you'll be good to go especially given the fact that right now if you are going to build your own pc graphics card prices we know they are insanely high so you want to save money in any area you really can and by getting a windows 10 key for just 16 dollars using the promo code com That'll make you, uh, you know, be able to buy a PC on a little bit more of a budget and then extend that savings to something else in your build or use that savings to buy some great games. At the end of the day, you can pick up great games with that money saved and with all the discounts running on this platform and every platform uh, that can be money well spent. On top of that, if you want Office 2019, you'll be able to use the promo code and also get a 25% off discount. The discounted price will end up being $48. They've also got a plethora of other stuff, Steam keys, S uh, CD keys, Origin keys, etc., etc., prepaid cards, all that good stuff. Check out the link in the description box below. But first up, Steam Deck is uh, opening up for your orders to be placed. You can put your payments in if you are a part of the Q1 orders uh check your email you should be getting that it's a limited time so make sure if you want it and i would recommend getting it based on the prices that it's going for on ebay uh, pick it up and uh, pay for it and then you'll be good to go as I mentioned yeah this thing is getting gouged to the heavens over on eBay uh, the 512 gigabyte Q2 reservation is going for like three grand there's uh, listings for three grand and uh, the Q1s are obviously what's in demand so you get it immediately here's a 512 gig for two grand uh, 512 gig for 1500 etc etc now the 512 gig I believe was at an MSRP of six hundred and fifty dollars, the two fifty six was five thirty, and I want to say the base model was four hundred. Even that's going for a pretty penny. I can find listings, and there's listings for the two fifty six gigabyte to get uh, to you know put it in perspective that have bids on it that are already up to eleven hundred dollars and still have like two days left. Um, yeah, getting a Steam Deck right now for south of a grand is going to be very, very difficult. Obviously, uh, the orders are coming in. I know some of you guys probably have, like, the quarter two wave of pre-orders. I believe I have the quarter two. I haven't gotten an email yet. Let me actually check right now. Uh, I haven't gotten an email yet. I'm pretty sure I was in the quarter two wave, which is a little bit of a bummer. I'll have to wait a little bit, but hey... It is what it is, and, uh, you know, it'll be fine. It, it won't be the end of the world or anything like that. Uh, I am excited to get it because the reviews are looking incredibly positive. Looks like this is an emulation dream machine, which is uh, mainly one of the things that I was looking to get it for because I have an NVIDIA Shield, and that thing was a dream for emulation. Like, I played so many PSP games on there, Game Boy Advance games. It was just so great, and the Steam Deck being a level up from that, um, you know, being able to play Steam games as well. And then being a fantastic machine for emulation, I think that's one of the main uh, things that people are getting it for. And then also uh, playing top tier, you know, uh, high quality games on the go. I mean, relatively on the go, it's still a beefy machine. Like it's a big machine here, uh, comparatively speaking to like the Nintendo Switch. But you can still take the thing on the go. You can play it on the toilet. You can play it before going to bed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so yeah, unfortunate that it is, you know, being price gouged to the heavens on eBay, but I think most of us were expecting that at the end of the day. Hopefully, uh, stock does, uh, you know, readily come in throughout the course of the year, and then everybody's able to get one by the end of the year. Um, you know, if you didn't pre-order one at launch, you probably weren't that interested in getting one, and hey, for a lot of people, it's about getting a PC right now rather than getting Steam Deck. They're worried about getting their graphics card or their PC upgrade, and then Steam Deck can wait after that. But nevertheless, uh, Valve also did note that they're not 
not going to increase the Steam Deck price, but they might look at higher end versions. It's pretty easy to upgrade the system storage of the platform, so that should be uh, doable. The 399 entry level model has uh, 64 gigabytes of eMMC internal storage, so you would want to expand that, but if they're gonna go even higher than that, maybe upgrade whatever, and then, you know, <laughs> they could get pretty expensive with these things, but, uh, you know, I just question when you're hitting a grand uh, $1,200 around that range, is it going to be something that is going to fly off the shelves? I mean, it may. People are buying the damn thing for, you know, over a grand on eBay. So when the demand is there, it's there. And for Steam Deck, right now, it's there. Based on the reviews coming up, based on right now, that the hype and anticipation is at a very high level. Obviously, the prices are going to be super high. We'll have to wait for probably like a week, week and a half, two weeks to see where they settle in at. But I do imagine it's going to be a pretty expensive purchase, especially if you're looking to order the Q1 model through a secondhand seller. So honestly, don't be paying prices like this, like two grand, $1,500. Like, come on, wait until the end of the year and hopefully you can get one at a more uh, comparable price, you know, $400 or uh, 529 or whatever, uh, 650 and that'll be uh, worthwhile. Lastly, I do want to note, Steam put this up, Aperture Desk Job, introducing Aperture Desk Job, a free playable short made for the Steam Deck set in the universe of the modestly popular Portal. Uh, right away, they note this is not Portal 3, lower your expectations, this is not a sequel to Portal, now get ready to raise them slightly because it is the in the expanded universe of those games, Desk Job puts you squarely in the driver's seat at Aperture Signs, then quickly removes the driving part and adds a desk in front of the seat, Steam Desk, a uh, desk for your hands. Up until now, real life mostly involves sitting and video games were the virtual world you could escape to with the portable Steam Deck. We flipped that, freeing your body to run marathons and jump out planes while your brain and hands simulate all the sitting you used to do. And it is a free title. It is noted to be a playable short, but obviously once uh, this Steam page went up, people were already talking about Portal 3. I just don't know if stuff like that is ever going to happen. Portal 3, Half-Life 3, and uh, Left 4 Dead 3 seems to be the holy grail of things. Things that people want from Valve. Steam Deck is obviously a nice piece of hardware, but a lot of people want that software, me included, so I don't know. It'll be something interesting to check out that will be coming March 1st, but that's gonna do it for me again, Steam Deck. Go check your emails. The pre-orders, or I shouldn't say the pre-orders anymore. The orders are being sent out, and uh, yeah, go make your payment. Don't be paying the wild prices on eBay. Just not worth it. As far as increasing the price, they might look at higher end versions. And Aperture Desk Job coming free to Steam on March the 1st. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.